welcome to my very first what sold video on my channel. My, my name is Maria and I am a part-time reseller on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, and Kitizen. I am also listed on Depop, but that's very recent and I haven't even sold anything yet. But this is my very first what sold video for what for me is a very, very exciting week. As a part-time reseller, I really am doing this in the pockets of my time. I have a full-time job, I have a full-time family, and I'm commuting almost three hours a day. So I really fit this into my lifestyle. And I wanted to show you guys that even doing this for maybe an hour a day, not even listing in the evenings, sourcing on the weekends, batch photographing, you know, while my almost one year old is napping, you really can make a substantial kind of side hustle profit. If that is something you're interested in doing and need to supplement your income, or you can also do it like me, I kind of do it for the fun of it, the challenge of it. I like having this hobby that keeps me interested. I get to shop as much as I want and, you know, call it for my business. <laughs> So it's a lot of fun and I really, really have enjoyed doing it. So just so you have a little bit of background about me, I have been a part-time reseller for just over a year now. I basically started at the beginning of 2022, but I didn't have very many listings. It was kind of like escalated from there and now I have about a little over 800 active listings on all my platforms. And I like to think I'm getting better at sourcing and moving things more quickly through my closets. I'm trying to keep that like average sell time lower, but I'm going to share all of that with you guys today. So we'll talk through everything that I got, each individual item. I'll pop up some pictures over here so you guys can see the item. I'll share what my cost of goods was, what my total profit was, and how long it took to sell. Because to me, that's a really important number. Also, then at the end of the video, I will share my entire numbers for the week, which I'm actually very excited about and I can't wait to share with you guys. So before we do that, cue the intro. I know I look absolutely ridiculous in this video. These sold, I think overnight. All right, so as we get into this, you will see I am sitting in my guest room, which also is kind of one of my reseller storage areas. Yes, when I have guests come over, I clean it out and make sure that they can, you know, sleep on the bed, which is nice, you know, for guests. But right now it's storing my shoes also because I like to keep them nice and temperature controlled rather than in my basement with all the clothes. Okay, so we are going to be doing the week of February 5th through February 11th. And this was actually my best sales week. So I am very proud of it. I am very excited. This might be huge, crazy sales to you, or this might be like chump change to you, depending on what type of seller you are. But for me, I'm excited, and that is really all that matters. As we came into this week, I had kind of a lower sales week last week, and I really wanted to kickstart it. So I ran kind of a sale in my Poshmark closet, which means that I sent out bulk offers at 30% plus discounted shipping at $5.95. Um, so the first couple items you're gonna hear about were actually results of those offers being accepted from buyers. And then later in the week, there were a few that trickled in that it, a buyer might have missed an offer, but kind of re-offered it to me and I ended up accepting. And we'll talk about that. So on the fifth, I had five sales, three on Poshmark and two on eBay. And the first thing that sold were these Vineyard Vines Skinny Ponty Knit Ankle Pants Leggings Women's Extra Small. They sold for $19 with discounted shipping. I got these at a um, Goodwill. Vineyard Vines is kind of hit or miss for me but I do find quite a bit of it. Um, I am in the DC metro region and I'm close to Annapolis. Vineyard Vines is kind of, I think of it as like kind of an East Coast, nautically kind of a preppy vibe. So I do find quite a bit of it when I'm thrifting up in Annapolis. So I found these at the Annapolis Goodwill. My cost of goods that day was $3.38. I do average my cost of goods now. Most of the cost of goods you'll see in this are averaged from the entire trip. It makes bookkeeping much more simple to average all those cost of goods and it's much quicker when I'm typing everything in my inventory. So these actually though were in my closet for 259 days, which is why I was just happy to move them along with that. I didn't make a huge profit at the end of the day. I started off my week with $10.10 and I was thrilled to get those out of my closet and into somebody else's closet that is actually going to wear them. I also like to think that when I have a sale, it's going to like make other sales happen. It's going to boost the algorithm along. I don't know if that's true. I like to think it's at least partially true. So the next thing that I got was an offer on this dress, which was the Adriana Papel purple long sleeve ruched ponty knit knee length sheath dress. 
This I received an offer for $31, which I did accept. I was very happy to get that because this was a bins grab that I found actually while I was surfing with my mom. Um, she was familiar with this brand and actually noticed it and brought it over. And yes, I decided to grab it. So my cost of goods as day was a dollar and four cents. You can't beat bins prices most of the time. And this was another one that had sat for a little bit. Um, it was 265 days listed. So I was very excited to get that offer. And I ended up making a total profit of $22 and four cents. And guys, when I'm saying the profit at the end of this, that is after shipping fees, any sort of, um, promoted listings I might have on eBay eBay. That is at the end of the day, the only thing that is not taken out from that is taxes, which obviously that would be kind of very difficult to do on a line by line basis. I will do that grouping at the end of the year at tax time. Okay, the next sale that came in on Poshmark was this Cacique unlined full coverage black lace plus size bra in a women's size 44K. This was another of those 30% offers that got sent out. I think the $19 sales price was from the items that I have listed at 20 Eight. 28 is a pretty common number that I tend to use on Poshmark. Um, so that sold for $19 again with discounted shipping. And I got this at a prime thrift store, which is a thrift store near me that I really like to shop at. And I'm actually going there in about a week with a friend. Um, so I'm excited because it's been a while since I've been there. They usually have good stuff at some pretty decent prices. Um, so yeah, that, a little bit of a tangent, but I'm excited to go back. So when I see things selling, it's, you know, motivation to go shop there again. My average cost of goods that day was $3.54. I will note that the bras that I grabbed there are usually only a couple bucks. So the, that was probably on the low end with this cost of goods, but that's okay. It brings my total cost of goods down for all the other items. So I'm okay with that. This one sat for 102 days. And I only made a $9.94 profit on that, but that doesn't bother me, especially with a bra. They're easy to list. They're pretty easy to photograph. This one was great because as you saw, I was able to find a stock photo, which does really help show the product a lot better. So that might have helped with the sale as well. So moving on to eBay sales that day, the first thing that I sold is this new without tags, Chico's Tropical Dance Dress Sleeveless Hawaiian Floral stretch and it was a chico size 2 which is uh, equivalent to a large or 12. this one was so pretty i really like this i found this at a goodwill in no i'm sorry i grabbed this one at second avenue which is another kind of local area thrift stores chain of stores um, that they have that I really like to shop at. This sold for $22 on eBay. Anything I sell with eBay is buyer pays shipping. I'm just telling you the, the cost plus this one had like $5.99 shipping. There's always going to be shipping associated with it. My average cost of good that day was $5.87. I probably paid a little bit less for this because I don't usually pay that much for Chico's, but again, that's okay. Average cost of goods. And this one sold in 27 days. So I was very excited about that. I sell Chico's pretty consistently. It's one of the brands I'd love to grab if I can get it for less than three or four, maybe up to five dollars sometimes, just because it does always sell. And um, at the end of the day, I made thirteen dollars and eighty-four cents on this. I tend to sell Chico's between like twenty to twenty-five. I'll sometimes take offers down to like fifteen, and sometimes they will sell for almost thirty. So fifteen to thirty is a pretty safe bet for this brand. And I usually make consistently between ten and twenty dollars. Um, for me, as a part-time reseller, that's mostly doing this for the fun of it. I am perfectly fine with that price point. Those really do add up, right? Just today I had $10, $22, $9, $13 profit. If I didn't take any of those offers, that would have been profit that I was just literally leaving on the table. Okay, the last item that sold that day was actually, it sold overnight, so I saw it when I woke up and I was absolutely thrilled. And that is the, I'm sorry, this was another Poshmark sale. So I had four Poshmark sales and one eBay sale. I titled this the Rare Farm Rio Anthropology Crochet Granny Knit, Granny Square Knit High Rise Denim Shorts in a size 31. These were so cute. So cute. I wanted to keep them. They were too big for me. And when I was running comps, I saw that these sold well, but there weren't very many of them. I couldn't find any listed. That's why I titled it Rare. Um, they sold for $66. This was another one that was a 30% off sale. I had these listed pretty high. I had these listed for, I think, $95 because they were so rare. Now, I could have held out maybe longer because in the spring and summer, they probably would have sold better. But again, I sent out those 30% offers. Somebody accepted it. That's fantastic. They're going to look adorable in them. 
I got these at a Goodwill. Um, my average cost of goods that day was $6.09. I think the standard price for these, I probably paid $4.99 technically for them, but average cost of goods, $6.09 is what I went with. They sold in 117 days. They did get listed during winter, so keep that in mind. And my total profit on these was $44.99. So that, having five sales on last Sunday, was a great way for me to kick it off. Having five in one day is a pretty good sales day for me. So I felt good about it being a great week, and I was really excited. And thankfully, the next couple days got even better. We did fizzle out towards the end of the week, but I had some good sales, so that is okay. All right, so let's talk about the sixth. And on the sixth, I had six sales. I had two on Poshmark and four on eBay, which is a little bit rare for me. I typically sell more on Poshmark than I do on eBay just because I've been listing on Poshmark longer. Um, so I, maybe the algorithm likes me better. I'm still like getting my standings over on eBay. But the first thing that sold, oh my gosh, I was so excited, were these Lauren Ralph Lauren Mica black leather riding boots in a size 9.5. These were like OGs with me. They had been sitting on the top of this rack for 380 days, for over a year. And they did have a little bit of um, like scuffing that wasn't coming out that you could see when you were up close, but you couldn't really see if you were more than like 10 feet away. So I did disclose that. I made sure to take close up photos. I don't know if that affected somebody buying them or not. It might have affected that, but I was thrilled when I got an offer at $46 that I accepted. Um, I bought these at a Salvation Army for a, a price of $7. That was before I was averaging my cost of goods. So $7. I do remember, I don't know why I remember this, them being yellow tags and yellow tags was half off that day. Um, and they were like the only shoes I found that somebody else had cleared all the shoes out. But I paid $7, listed for 380 days, and I ended up making a $29.80 profit. So yeah, I had to hang on to them for a little bit. They sat on the top of that rack, but they are gone. And they did already receive positive feedback. The buyer said she absolutely loves them. And she thinks they're beautiful. So I always love seeing that. It really means a lot to me if someone tells me that because A, I know that it fit them well, that they like it. And and really the whole point of why I'm doing this is just connecting these wonderful treasures, these kind of homeless children that need new homes. And I'm just glad to see that somebody really enjoys that product. Okay, the next one is kind of another fun story. Um, this was the Miracle Suit Miravella Black Gandalf One Piece Swimsuit Wide Straps. And I can't, <laughs> I can't see the rest of the title because it was such a long title. This sold for $55. I got this at the bins. My average cost of goods that day was a dollar and four cents. And I was so excited to find a miracle suit because I think it was Mogi Beth. If you're not following her channel, go find her. She's fantastic. Um, and she was saying that this is one of the swimwear brands that she really likes to sell. So I saw it, I put it in my car, I took it home. And when I got home, I realized that the, the tag was so rubbed off that I could not see the size. Um, that happens with clothes. I will sometimes buy the size, even if I realize in the store that there's no size tag. Um, but normally I can measure it, get a pretty good equivalent or find somebody else's listing that has measurements with the tag that I can kind of, you know, deduce what the size is. But since this one is a bathing suit and it's a plus size bathing suit, so it had large built in cups, it was really hard to measure. Like doing a pit to pit on the back is different than in the front. Um, the length is, is tough. So honestly, this sat in my death pile for months because, I didn't want somebody to get it based on what I listed it as and it not be able to fit, especially on Poshmark where you can't really return things for fit unless it's something that I definitely specifically did wrong as the seller. And I wanted somebody to love it. I didn't want them to buy something they can't wear. So it sat and sat sat. Um, I like looked up a bunch of things at some point to size it and then I lost that piece of paper. <laughs> then it sat again. I eventually was like, okay. I had one of those like energetic weeks where I was going to list things in my like has been sitting forever death pile and I listed it. I tried to cross reference with other people that had listed measurements and sizes for this brand and for this style. So I listed it as a size 16. I put the measurements, I said they're approximate as best I could. And I'm sorry for the long drawn out story, but this is another just happy ending. The person wrote back, um, left me positive feedback saying she loves it. So I'm so thrilled 
that it fit her and that she has a nice fantastic suit. This suit retailed for $200. So getting it even used for $55, it was in fantastic shape other than the fact that that, that size tag had been kind of rubbed off through wear. Um, so this did sit once it was even listed for 125 days and I had had it in my house for even longer than that. But at the end of the day, I made $42.96 off this swimsuit. So it was a little bit of pain getting it listed, but it was absolutely worth it. So guys, list your stuff. Just do the homework and list it. Disclose the problem and list it. All right, moving on to eBay sales on the 6th. The first thing to sell was, oh, hey. <laughs> I have been waiting for someone to pay on eBay for three days, and I really thought that this was going to make it into this video, but it didn't because I base my sales off when people pay on eBay and sometimes it takes a few days. So yeah, but this is super cute. I'm just gonna show you super quick. Somebody bought this little Drake's London collab with J. Crew, and guys, look, they it's a giraffe print shirt. It is so cute. I'm trying to get a close up. So since this didn't make this video, I will at least show you this fun little giraffe's print J. Crew collab. So the next thing to sell that day over on eBay is this Zara Basic Chambray Denim Short Sleeve Cropped Button Up Shirt Top Women's Large. This was another one that sat in my house for a little bit longer because there was like the tiniest of repairs I think that needed to be made like on a seam. Like you couldn't even tell it had needed to be repaired. So my mom helped me out with that. I love her. She's fantastic. So this sold for $22.49. That was an offer I sent out to a watcher. I had it listed I think for $24.99. So that was a 10% off that I offered. I got this at a Goodwill that day. My average cost of goods was $2.47. This was listed for 82 days. I was a little surprised because it's a cute like crop chambray style, which is very, very in. I thought it would sell in the fall. Um, I do sell Zara. I like selling Zara. A lot of people skip on Zara, but I made $17.17 .17 on this little Zara top. It's stylish. I don't pick up everything and I don't pick it up at any price point, but that like less than $5 price point works for my business. I have kind of a volume based business where if I can list a lot of things and in that mid tier range and make $17, I'm absolutely going to do that. Okay, the next thing to sell was kind of exciting. I found this one recently, and it's actually in one of my recent haul videos. So if you haven't seen that, click up above and you can watch that video. I got this Beretta fleece lined full zip performance jacket, olive green in a men's large. Beretta is a pew pew brand. Um, and it has a very loyal following, a lot of outdoorsy people. It is fairly expensive retail. So I thought it was going to be good. I grabbed it, I think, for $6 at 2nd Avenue. Um, my cost of goods that day was $5.57. This sold, I listed it for $55, and I accepted an offer at $45. And this sold in 10 days. And that made me $33.04. So if you see Beretta items, clothing, hats, things like that, um, definitely worth grabbing. When I was looking up comps, the sell-through was really good. The prices were really good. And this was a really nice, substantial kind of jacket. So I, I'm i glad somebody got a great deal on that. I was happy happy to do that. <laughs> I put $9.99 shipping for the buyer on this, but I'm always trying to squeeze as much as I can into these padded flat rates because I only have to pay $8.30 so I can make like an extra dollar on the shipping that I charge. Um, you should have seen me trying to get that into here. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it didn't work. I ended up having to put it in a little box and that's totally okay. Um, the buyer did pay the $10 shipping, so I didn't want to damage it. Eventually midway through, I was like, okay, I need to, I need to figure something else out here. All right. The next one is my absolute favorite sale of the week. Guys, list your stuff. <laughs> Especially if you have random stuff sitting around the house. I had hard goods sitting in my house that I need to list. I'm literally looking at a pile of them that I'm going to start listing. So this sale was the Fireball Island, the Curse of Volcar collection with three expansion packs complete. I had bought this. I paid $14 for all four of them. I think it was like $6 for the big game, $4 for the other game, and $2 and $2 for the twoest of the expansion packs. I grabbed it, I saw it at a new stock car. They looked interesting. Usually these like really niche kind of board games, adventure games, I've seen them selling well for other people. So I looked them up and each one of these individually would have sold well. And 
I barely saw any that had kind of that complete collection. So I grabbed them and then they sat because I needed to like look through them and inventory them to make sure they were all there. That was when I was like very pregnant. Then baby came. So when my sister, I love you, when she came out after to visit my baby, um, cause she lives on the West coast, she is a board game puzzler person. She's super smart. So she actually went through each of these games, um, helped me make sure they were complete. We took the pictures so I could get them listed. That was when my kid was like three weeks old, maybe a month. He's about to turn one, guys. And I just listed this. <laughs> so I texted her. I was like, yeah, I finally got it listed. Let's see how it does. I priced it at $145 plus $30 in shipping because I had to ship at UPS Ground. This sold in less than 24 hours. I accepted an offer for $120 plus the $30 shipping. One day. <laughs> It had been sitting in my house. All I needed to do that whole time was pack it into a box so I could weigh it, measure it, and see what I needed to charge for shipping. One day, $120. So after fees, um, shipping, all of that, I ended up making a total profit of $99.53 in a day. <laughs> all right, moving on. The last thing that sold on eBay on the 6th was this Yogalicious Long Sleeve Relaxed Fit Mock Neck Sweatshirt Purple Women's Extra Large. This sold for $26.99. That was an offer I sent to a watcher. I had it listed as $29.99, sent that 10% offer out. They accepted it. I got this at a Goodwill in Westerville, Ohio while I was visiting my parents. And my average cost of good that day was $3.38. They did have um, 50% off tags. My Goodwills don't have that. My parents' do. So I like to shop when I'm home with them. And I think I do remember this one being half price. This actually had a flaw on the sleeve that I didn't notice till I got home. Again, disclosed it, listed it, and it sold. I made $20.20 on this item. Okay, moving on to the seventh. Guys, this day was fantastic. I don't know what was in the reselling water. I had eight sales that day. I was absolutely thrilled. They just kept coming in. <laughs> they kept coming in. So the first thing that sold, which was actually a sale I woke up to, was these True Religion Swarovski Crystal Bling Misty Super Stretchy Skinny Jeans in a size 28. I didn't realize it until I went home and listed it they, that they had the Swarovski Crystal like bling on them, which was great. Um, I had them listed, I think, for $45.00. This was one of those that I had sent that 30% offer out to, to everything. And the person didn't see it the first couple days, I think. And she messaged me asking if I would still honor it, which I was happy to. Um, because I had just bought these and I love moving things quickly. So I got these at Second Avenue with the same Beretta fleece jacket. You can see them in that video that I posted recently. My average cost of goods that day was $5.57. These were only listed for 6 days and I made $17.63. I got so many jeans that day that I'm very happy to just move them out quickly. All right, the next one to sell was this Victoria's Secret Satin Chiffon Navy Blue Baby Doll Slip Lingerie Teddy in a size medium. Can you tell that I like to put keywords in my listings? Um, I accepted an offer on Poshmark for $20. I had had this for quite a while. Um, I got this also at that same Westerville Goodwill retail location. I think it was another 50% off item. So my cost of goods that day was $3.38. This one had been listed though for 255 days. I was thrilled to accept that $20 offer, get it moving to somebody else. I'm hoping maybe they wanted it for Valentine's Day. It's so cute and it is in excellent condition. And I made $12.62 on this, you know, little lingerie item. So easy to photograph, take a couple back front tags, and I'm done. All right, the next one is this New With Tags Market and Spruce Stitch Fix Zanzia French Terry Knit Striped Long Sleeve Top in a size 3X. I like selling Stitch Fix brands. They do seem to sell for me, especially if, if I can find them New With Tags with the Stitch Fix tag. I like finding the Stitch Fix tag because the name and the style number are right on there. And a lot of times I can find stock photos. 
I couldn't find this one. I found it in some other colors, but it photographed great on its own. It was a great size, so I was really hoping it would sell, and it did. It sold for $19. This was something I found at a local Goodwill. My average cost of goods that day, I'm sorry, this was not a local Goodwill. Um, this was when I was back home in a different part of Ohio for a wedding. So they had a little bit cheaper items than my Goodwills out here. Um, but my average cost of goods that day was $4.40. This was only listed for 11 days. Um, and I made $10.80. Um, I think this might have been another one. I don't remember if it was at all associated with that, like 30% off sale, but $19 was an offer I received. I thought, you know what, I'm having a great sales week. Let's keep the momentum. Let's keep things moving. So I was happy to accept that. Got my $10 out of it plus my initial investment. Let's call that a win and move on to the next one. Okay, this one, again, I was thrilled by my day that I was already having, just sitting there. I think I was listing more items, and boom, I got another offer for these Merrill Decora Chant Waterproof Boot Rain Snow Leather Faux Fur Trimmed in a size 7. I think I had these listed for like $60 or $65, which was more than I would normally list a pair of these types of boots. But the comps on these were fantastic. The sell-through was amazing. So I listed these for $65. I accepted that offer of $40. Boots were kind of coming out of winter. I want to move them out. I don't want to store them until next year here on this rack. So these I got at that Second Avenue trip that I keep referencing. Average cost of goods for $5.57. These sold in nine days. And I made $26.43. I did like these. They were my size and I was kind of hoping that if they wouldn't sell that I could wear them a couple times, but that's okay. That's okay. I'd rather see them with somebody else. Okay, moving into the four eBay sales that day. This next two were things that people had bought but hadn't paid for and I really had given up on these buyers. I didn't think that maybe they were going to pay for them and I woke up one morning and both people had paid. Two different buyers had paid for their items. I was thrilled. So the first one was this pink Victoria's Secret gray varsity crew neck sweatshirt in a size medium. This I had listed too high initially and I had slowly been dropping it down. So I accepted an offer of $20 on this top. I got it from the bins in Ohio in my very first bins trip. So this was this was forever ago. My average cost of goods I said that day was about a dollar. And yeah, these had been listed for 346 days. So it was time to move it on. And I made a profit of $15.46. I had to wait a little bit, but I got that $15 and I am thrilled. So the next one that I was happy when the buyer finally paid was this new with tags Zara Woman Chiffon Sheer Lace Trim White Blouse Long Sleeve Shirt in a size small. This was beautiful. If this was not new with tags, I absolutely would have kept it, worn it a few times, and then cleaned it and listed it. But since it was new with tags, obviously I'm not going to do that, and I did want to get it listed. So this, I accepted an offer. I had it listed for $30 because it was new with tags, and I accepted an offer for $24. I did get this at a retail Goodwill for, I think, like $5. My average cost of goods that day was $5.49. It was listed for 100 days but I ended up making $15.67. Those $15, $10, $20 sales really add up, absolutely. Okay, the next one, this one happened while I was driving home from work, just saw the eBay thing popped up, and I love when you get the devil eBay thing that says your item sold and the person has paid. I love getting them at the same time. Are you with me on that? Yes. So this was the Talbot's 100% Pure Merino Wool Burnt Orange Cardigan Button Down Sweater in a size small I loved this. I think, I'm trying to remember, I might have worn this before I listed it. Um, it is in my size. And I got this at the bins and it looked brand new. It was in fantastic condition. The bins in Columbus, Ohio, my average cost of goods that trip was $1.73. I think I got a bunch of like sweaters and stuff that day. And this sat for 78 days, which isn't too bad. I'm happy with that. And I made $23.07 for a Talbot's piece. Thank you, Becky Park, for cluing me on that Talbots is absolutely worth reselling. I had heard so many other resellers say they pass on Talbots, and I started grabbing it, and it does sell. It sells consistently. I do sell it more on eBay, I think, than Poshmark, but I have sold it on Poshmark also. All right, and the last thing to sell was just the icing on top of the cake. Icing on top, cherry on top, icing on the cake. 
one of those. You know what I mean. Um, and it was this Desmond and Dempsey collab H&M Linen Viscose Hawaiian Tropical Belted Shirt Dress in a size medium. I don't normally pick up H&M pieces. I have some that I've listed that were maybe my own that I will then list. But what I will grab is collab. So this was a collab with a brand called Desmond and Dempsey. Um, mall brands that have collabs tend to sell more because they are more collectible. People like them. They then seek them out or they see them, but they can't get them in stores anymore. Um, actually, that J. Crew giraffe shirt that I showed you earlier was a collab with Drake's London. Um, so those items in like mall brands, I will pick up more than just if it was a normal, you know, belted dress from H&M. I would have left it behind. But since it was here, it was super cute. It was a linen blend. Um, super cute tropical print. I did pick it up. I didn't notice until I got home, but it had a couple marks on the bottom hem that looked like it looked like it had gotten a fight with a highlighter and a highlighter one. So I had these two little pink, really faint dots. Photographed it, disclosed it, of course, and it sold. Um, this sold for $29.01, I think, because I have $5.99 shipping and she wanted it to be maybe a round number. <laughs> but um, I got this out of Goodwill. My average cost of this was $4.40. This sold in six days. I, I was so surprised by that. And I made $20.95. Fantastic day. Fantastic day. Days like this are so motivating to like keep doing and listing more things. But honestly, the days that I'm not selling anything are the days that I should be listing more things. Okay, so we had all that steam and momentum. And then the next day, boom. I almost didn't have a single sale, but I had a redeeming sale at the very end of the day. And that is... This Zara Men's Full Zip Mock Neck Quilted Puffer Faux Suede Bomber Jacket Coat um, in a size small. This one is actually funny. I bought this recently at a Goodwill while I was doing reselling sourcing, but I bought it for myself because I really liked it. I needed kind of a neutral. So I bought it for myself, listed all those other items, didn't count this as any part of my cost of goods. It was just out of my own personal bank account and wore it a couple times. I was like, this just seems... It's a small, but it seems like it's like enveloping me. And I finally had this like epiphany. Maria, this is not a women's jacket. This is a men's jacket. And it was drowning me. And I put it on my husband as a size small and it looked fantastic. He didn't want it. It's not his style. Um, but I was like, this is men's. I, I probably, I could have worn it. I could have gone away with it. It just didn't fit me as well as I liked. So I did what any good reseller would do. I decided to list it instead, get it out of my closet. Um, and this sold for $40. I think I had it, yeah, I had it listed for $45. I sent an offer of 10% with discounted ship, so $40. I got this at that Goodwill, but I have $0 cost of goods into it because it was, I bought it for myself. And it sold in two days. Two days. Zara will sell. This is a third Zara piece I sold just this week. And I made $30.28 off of that jacket. All right, moving to the next day, which was the ninth. I had two sales. I had one on eBay and one in Poshmark. We're getting back to more of like my norm, what I would normally have, one, two, three, four sales in a day. Um, but the next thing that sold were these Clark's Cadell Shine Comfort Sandals, Tan Cloud Stepper Shoes, and a Women's 7. These sold for $28. I got these at a Goodwill. My average cost of goods was $6.09. I think I actually paid maybe around $7 for these. I had a stint at the beginning of my career where Clarks were selling really well. I think it might have been because of the style. I had a bunch of like black leather booties that seemed to be selling well. So then I just started picking up Clarks as often as I could find them. Um, I've slowed down on that since then because they are still selling. They're just not moving as quickly. But I think a lot of what I have left in my closet are more like sandals, flats, slip-ons. So I'm going to see how they move into spring and summer and if they start selling again. I'm hoping with the sale that that means that maybe that'll start picking up. But these were listed for 110 days. And at the end of the day, I made my initial investment back and I made $14.59. So I will still continue to pick up Clarks in really good condition, but probably not pay more than 5 maybe $7 for them. All right, my next sale is a funny one over on eBay. And it is this Wii U Super Mario Maker Nintendo complete with manual and case tested. Um, I got this from a friend, so I have zero cost of goods into this. I received three video games 
that again sat because I don't do much video games. I was like, this is dumb. I just need to get them listed. The first two sold in like the first couple of days. They were the little bit more profitable ones. Um, I had like Super Mario Kart sold for like $30 in like a day. And then I had like a Wii Fit Active that I bundled together two of them. And then this one, I only had it listed for $12. I received an offer of $8. I wanted it out of my life. I don't do video games. I will, like, if I find them. But I, these are the only ones I've done so far. Um, but since I had my shipping at $5.99 and the shipping ended up coming in a little bit less, the fees were pretty low. I actually, at the end of the day, made a total profit of $8.20 after only 28 days. So, hey, it was free to me. I got it moved along. I received positive feedback on that as well already. And it has a new home. All right, two more days getting towards the end of our week here. On the 10th, I had also two sales, one on Poshmark and one on Kitizen. I had one Kitizen sale. Let me know down in the comments. Do you sell on Kitizen? And do you actually sell on Kitizen? Like I sell on Kitizen. But I think I sold one thing in January and now I've had one thing in February. So I'm trying to decide whether it's worth it, whether to keep my items on there. I do get sales once in a while that like make me keep doing it. I'm always like, I'm going to be done with Kitizen. I tell my husband once a month, I'm going to be done with Kitizen. And then I'll have a sale and be like, maybe I'll keep it. It's not that hard to cross list. <laughs> so this item, not my best sale, actually my worst sale <laughs> of the week. And that is these Converse All-Star High Top Chuck Taylor Navy Blue Lace Up Sneakers in a size Kids 8. These were so cute and they were in really good condition, especially for Converse. I picked these up at 2nd Avenue. My cost of goods was $3.73 that day. I probably only paid $2 or $3 for these. Their kids' shoes are usually low and I try to get them when they're on the 50% off color. Um... These had sat for 128 days, which did weigh into my decision. I had listed them for $26 on Kitizen, and I do free shipping on Kitizen. Um, the, the buyer offered me $17, and in my head, I was like, okay, $17, Kitizen fee will take out 2 or $3, shipping will be about 5 or $6, I'll make like a $10 profit. I was like, it's not great, I'll do it, I accepted it. Then I realized I didn't factor in my cost of goods, <laughs> into that so my math was right I just forgot a number anyway um so I accepted the $17 after all of the fees and shipping and everything with my cost of goods taken out I ended up making $5.58 again these are gonna look so cute on some little kid that in itself makes me happy I made my investment back and I made six bucks it's a win-win scenario still Hi friends, so in my excitement to talk about my Kitizen sale, I completely forgot to tell you about my other sale this day. So I sold these BP little jean shorts. They were so cute. I actually featured them in my vacation haul. So if you haven't watched that, click up above. I will have it linked. But I sold these for $18. I got them at a local Goodwill. My average cost of sales that day was $4.84. Since these were listed for only 22 days and I made a $9.50 profit. Shorts and spring things are starting to sell, so if you have those, definitely get them listed. Okay, and the very last day of the week, I had three sales, but a couple of them were really good sales that I'm thrilled about. So I'm actually going to start with eBay this time because it was my just run-of-the-mill generic sale. I sold this pair of Chico's So Slimming Medium Wash Stretch Denim Jeans in a size 2.5, which for Chico's is a large size 14. Um, again, Chico's is that bread and butter seller that sells well. Um, I did accept kind of a lower offer at $18 than I normally sell them for, but was really happy to move them along. And again, I'd had a great sales week. Um, I got these at Second Ave. My average cost of goods that day was $4.77. I remember them being $6 and 50% off, so they technically were three, but average cost of goods, that's what I factored in here, of course. They sold after 69 days, which was pretty good. I picked up two almost exactly the same pairs of jeans that day from Chico's, and they have both now sold, um, and I made $10.15 still, so happy with that. All right, the next two, this is what I actually woke up to, which I was so excited about, and that is these Freebird Mabel gray black leather Oxford casual dress shoes in a women's size 12. I found these at that recent um, thrift haul video trip over to 2nd Avenue. 
This was my first time finding Freebird. I was so thankful I found them. They had them listed at $25 and they had them sitting in the men's section because they are fairly large and they do kind of look like a traditional men's shoe. Um, but I paid the $25. I looked up comps right there on the spot and I knew it was going to be worth it. Um, I thought in the store I could maybe sell them for over a hundred. When I got home and did the comps, I was like, wow, these are great. They are still available on Freebird's website, the style and the, um, the color, but size 12 was the only one not available. So that helped my case quite a bit as well. So I listed these for $150 and I got an offer for $125, which was very fair. I knew that I was going to accept anything over 100, and honestly, I probably would have accepted anything over 75, but $125, thrilled with that. These sold in six days. Plus, even though I paid $25 for them, as I've been saying, I averaged my cost of goods for the entire trip. My average cost of goods that day was $5.57. So I made a total profit on these shoes of $94.43. That is great waking up to a $100 bill just sitting there. I was absolutely thrilled. Then, and this was yesterday, the day I'm filming this video, I went out with a friend um, to Les Mis. The Traveling Broadway was here in Baltimore. Um, a, a friend got me that for a Christmas present and we just went to it. She's so sweet. I cannot be more thankful to her for that. But we were there and during an admission, I was walking around kind of stretching my legs and noticed I had a Poshmark sale come up. And I love the Poshmark sales that it's not you have a new offer or somebody accepted your offer. It just says this just sold. That push notification means this just sold full price. I love seeing those come through on Poshmark. And that is this Pendleton Men's Vintage Jacket Beige Tan Mid-Length Coat in a Size Extra Large. I got this at Prime Thrift on my first trip there forever ago. So this sat in my closet at Poshmark for 403 days. 403. I relisted it in January, mid-January. I had had it priced at like $79.00. And I was realizing that was pretty high. It was my first time finding Pendleton. I was really excited. I was a brand new reseller. So when I relisted it, I dropped the price down to 65, knowing that I probably would have to keep keep dropping it a little bit. Um, so I was thrilled when this just sold out of the blue full price. So that one I paid exactly $5. It was before I was averaging my cost of goods. So $5 on that. I do think it was probably a discount tag. Um, I usually get the 50% off deals at that store and I made a total profit of $47. So that was my last sale of the week. Not only was it a high value sale, it was also an item that had been hanging in that closet that you can't see in my guest room because that's where I hang the coats up for 400 days for over a year. It was beautiful. It looked like it was in like new condition. So I'm really hoping somebody absolutely loves it. All right, guys, I was not expecting this video to be this long, so I'm hoping you're like listing or photographing or doing something. Thank you for sticking with me. So let's talk big picture. I sold 27 items this past week for a total sales of $1,097.37. After shipping, fees, cost of goods, everything except taxes, my total profit is $706.03. That is my highest sales week. Um, anytime I can hit 500, I am super thrilled with. And earlier this year, I had only been in like the two and three hundreds. That also was because I took a vacation. I hadn't been listening. I had my closet turned off. So there were a lot of factors. But having the $700 week feels really, really good. And it feels good to just get things out of my house, even more than the money that it brings in. It's validating to me as a part-time reseller that started doing this kind of just on a whim that I could bring in some extra income. My daughter likes to help me ship things and we packed up a pair of shoes this morning. She said, did we sell some shoes? I said, yes. She's like, okay, we got to sell more because we got to go to Disneyland. I've been telling her we're going to go to Disneyland next year and that all these sales are going to help with that trip. She's like, we got to go. We got to sell more shoes, mommy, because it's expensive. Disneyland's expensive. <laughs> So it was a lot of fun just hearing that. It's it's fun getting her involved in the business. The other thing that I will throw in, my average sales price this week was $40.64. It's usually in like the 25 to 30. Um, so having those big ticket items that sold, some of the bigger ones, the boots, the coats, as well as the Freebird shoes and the Fireball game, the board game that I never expected, um, really drove that average sales price up for me. That is it. That is my sales week. I hope you guys had a fun time watching this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I have a lot of reselling content up at coming. I've got a biz haul that I just have to get edited for you guys. 
And as well as I do other things on my channel, I've got some beauty videos, some skincare. For any reason you're into that, stick around for that as well. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me and gets me, you know, off to Disneyland with my little ones. Shameless plug. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.